This episode is 100% luxury. I think it's quite hard to beat this level of luxury at an airport lounge anywhere in the world. That's why I didn't really bother with the regional business class products I flew in the last few days. I knew that if I survived that, it would be all luxury starting in Hong Kong. The first thing I did was register for the cabana, those extremely fancy private shower suites, as there are only a few available and normally there is a queue before you are paid to head over. I had even more than though. When I asked for any availability in coming hours, as I would be at the airport for about half an day, she invited me in directly. That's an opportunity you don't want to go to waste, so I politely agreed to follow. When in the room, I found I had arrived in yet another hotel room. But the bed had been changed with a bath, and the flat screen TV was now a waterfall shower area. Not to forget the large dressing area with huge mirrors and space everywhere. And of course you have your own very private toilet for the time you are in this cabana. Quite amazing, isn't it? So the first thing of my short Hong Kong first class experience was checked already. But of course, not before trying as much amenities as possible in the limited time you are given to spend in complete isolation. The bath was filled with hot water and I jumped in. The waterfall shower I also tried, just to make sure I was clean. After all that relaxing, I got slightly hungry, so I hopped over to the pier lounge. The views are splendid here, from the first floor just above the main level for regular passengers. I sat down at the long bar for a cold beer, so I could have a look at the food options available for me here. After that beer, I settled down on the sofa, so I was sitting closer to the cheese on this bar. That looked very yummy, and together with a glass of champagne, it tasted even better. I'm not a connoisseur, so I don't pretend to have any good combination of food here, but any food of my liking will be perfectly fine, as I'm the one enjoying it, right? As I show you around the lounge area, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell with one additional click to make sure YouTube informs you about new videos being released in the future. A like is always highly appreciated as well. The rose champagne, if that's the correct term for it, was very good. I just had to keep in mind I had a very long intercontinental flight in first class coming up. Otherwise I would have the bottle on my table already. Most of the food was presented in buffet style here. So I grabbed whatever I encountered and that looked nice basically. I spent a few hours working here as well, since it was so quiet here. And I didn't even use the separate workspaces available. I just sat here with my pink champagne, cheese fingers and laptop. The next stop of the day was the beer, Cathay Pacific's very own first class lounge. In contrary to the wing, only first class ticket holders and of course some members of the Marco Polo and other high tier passengers are allowed in. But it's clear not just anyone could walk in here and start shoving their mouths with, with very nice food options. Everything here is just a little bit more luxury than in the wing, even the food options. Or maybe that's just a presentation? Anyway, very well done. And since this is a closed lounge, there is even less noise here. They did a very good job in making those lounges perfect for their passengers. I tried some of the snack options and had another alcoholic beverage at the cozy bar here. I asked for something local, but I can't remember what I was served unfortunately. But I can't remember what I was served unfortunately. 
And then it was once again time to head over to an even more private environment as there was space for the private cabins. Yes, those directly above the gates were some big birds park. I had registered for this option upon entering the lounge, but was given a pager here as there was a queue. But within an hour or so, I was paced anyway. There is a time limit for using this of course, but I stayed here for a few hours and that was just fine. It's even possible to have drinks and food ordered in. My view for most of my stay was this Emirates A380 and later a Thai Airways A350. Not bad I would say. Both the Wing and the Pier lounges remain closed because of the pandemic, but I hope that once reopened they will quickly race to their former glory and welcome passengers from across the globe again.